Okay, I have a feeling we're up for a big fight. I'm gonna have Blowy Joey up first, and we're gonna save. So my theories going into this is that Cassiopeia is not Penny. Because Penny was at the start of the game. And they were trying to recruit her to Team Star. That being said, Team Star does not know what the big boss actually looks like. They were recruited from the shadows. So, I don't know who this is going to be. I'm going to hope it is a brand new character. However, all signs are pointing to Penny. Except I do not want it to be Penny at all. <laughs> that would kind of be a major disappointment. What? Description. Wrong button. I didn't know there would be one for this. Challenge from Cassiopeia. Come to the academy in the dark of night to battle against Cassiopeia in the schoolyard. Sup, Chandler? Clive? Yep, that's my name. Actually, oh, it's time for me to bring this performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Oh ha! Oh my goodness! I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was not, uh, none other than, a than the director of the Yuva Academy, Mr. Clavel. I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect. Although I. And now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep my youthful act- uh, neglect to keep my youthful act on a few occasions. It must have been what gave me away. <laughs> Regardless, there's still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along! Um, that I don't believe. That's impossible. Honest to goodness. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using, uh, you know, one of those uh, high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. Th was he just calling me off screen? No, that can't be. No, because he, he's been on screen multiple occasions asking, and Cassiopeia asks about Clive. The conversation would have to go perfect. He's either like big brain or lying to me, and I don't know what to believe. But this also doesn't make a single bit of sense. So Master Chandler, now that you know I'm the big boss, that means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Uh... Oranguru? Um... I am Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Literally none of this makes any sense. I hate this, actually. That's rude of you to yawn at me. I'm going to negate your yawn by flip turning. Uh, I barely use Swine Stun. I'm gonna double edge. <laughs> I'll 
be fine. All the other students just do not give a shit of what is happening right now. I also don't know why there's like ominous like music playing right now. Like the ominous music also feels completely undeserved. Jahirados? I don't have any electric moves. Uh, shoot, we can metronome for one. Uh, oops, all physical. Oh, uh, Gyarados is gonna intimidate me, isn't he? Now to hit you with Gigaton Hammer and hope it kills. It's not very effective, never mind play rough. Oh, it did nothing. <laughs> you have Earthquake. That's unfortunate. Um I guess Gaston. Flower Trick should probably kill. Oh, it lived on one. That's rude. It missed Stone Edge, though. It's the meme. It missed Stone Edge. Aerial Ace never misses, so we'll just Aerial Ace. Poltygeist. Uh, we're fine. <laughs> Goodbye, Baldi, guys. Among Us! So the director was sus the whole time. <laughs> All right, bye, Amoongus. Skeledurge. Uh, if this is the Pokemon I'm thinking it is, then Blowy Joey's coming out. <laughs> to think that I, Cassiopeia, would be backed into a corner like this. Yep, that is the Pokemon I was thinking of. Uh, this is the final evolution to Fuecoco, because he took Fuecoco at the- I didn't even notice Blobby Joey had eyes, to be honest. Um, this is the Pokémon that, uh, Clavel took at the start of the game, because I took Sprigatito, uh, Nomoda took Quaxley, so you get to see the- this Pokémon here. I sadly knew this Pokémon's name, because people kept talking about it, but I didn't really take a good look at it until now. It looks really cool, though. Uh, however, it is going to immediately die to terrestrialized liquidation. Blowy Joey is the hero we need in, in our darkest hour, I, I think. Very well, I seem so. I, I shall have to terrestrialize my Pokémon. And... Goodbye. 
There better be a phase two to this. Or like the real mastermind shows up. Because like if he if this is if this is all real, this is the weakest part of the entire game. <laughs> well now, Master Chandler. It seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I'm not actually Cassiopeia. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia, Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That's why I sought to spare you from having to battle them, uh, having to confront them in battle. I don't want it to be Penny, either. And it could be Penny, because Penny doesn't battle. Which is why they wouldn't want to battle me. However, from what I have heard, Penny does battle, eventually, in this game. And apparently, Penny's battle theme is a banger. I haven't heard it yet, but people talk about it like it is. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled, it, uh, settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to understand them and win. So I challenged you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, uh, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia, uh, such as my resolve. It, it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an uh, an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a, such a task. But please defeat Cassiopeia. Take on a take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Leave it to me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. <laughs> you there? What do you think you're doing? Miss Time, it is a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I come here to investigate reports of an uh, enlisted battle on school grounds. And what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself faced it off against one of our students, no less. What are you thinking? Uh, uh, no, if I could just explain. You see, it's a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me the excuses. Uh, your excuses ring worse than a stunky's behind. Uh, stunky's behind? <clears throat> Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them at the schoolyard after dark. I'm counting on you, Master Chandler. <laughs> She'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. And I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious, no. What do you think of that? I implore you. <laughs> Great. Oh, I'm healed. Alright, well. Stretching it on out, I suppose. I meant to click save, I didn't save. Okay, here we go. I can save. <laughs> okay, uh... Uh... I have all these classes that I don't want to do. Uh... The monitors this school store biology lab art room home ec room director's office nurse's office schoolyard your dorm room there's so many places you can go to uh, I want to go to the school store real quick <laughs> that's just a little bit of nostalgia for me I want to see the school store <laughs> Freshwater, soda pop, lemonade, moo moo milk, potions, ty and then types of balls. Just this regular stuff you buy at a store, but also <laughs> this. This is actually stuff on sale. The freaking buying a soda pop's like a thousand dollars outside. You can buy bread here. Yeah, I have not bothered to come back here a single time since uh, we first left the school, so there's a lot of different places you can go. 
Um, however, okay, I have to. So I've seen some art of this character. I have to finally see who this character is. There. Come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. Miriam. What brings you here today? I don't see anything super wrong with you and your Pokemon. Uh, a uh, cock injured! Wait, this is your first time here, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I guess you transferred in recently. You must be Chandler, right? Everyone's been talking about you. I've heard all kinds of rumors. Apparently you fell off a cliff right after enrolling in the academy. Uh, I even picked up a fight with Team Star. Oh yeah, you've started your treasure hunt thing, right? Uh, we're kind of done with it almost. Come, uh, come tell me about anything super interesting you find out there in your adventures. I'm kind of bored sitting here all day, you know? Oh, uh, she does the, the hair twirly thing too, like uh, Sonya used to. I don't have any clashes to teach, and students only come to here to skip class. <laughs> So yeah, drop it if you can. Deal? Deal. Came slightly closer with Nurse Miriam. Oh no, are we doing dating mechanics now? <laughs> oh. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome to the nurse's office. <laughs> uh, so you're, you're tough stuff, huh? But seriously, you look a bit different. But it's because of all the crazy experiences you're having in your treasure hunt. You need to tell me all about them. All about what you've been up to. <laughs> wow, that's super cool. I sure am jealous of you kids. You get to try out new things every single day. Me, on the other hand. I actually wanted to become a teacher. I'm just a school nurse, you know? I can't teach classes or anything like that. Or there's a couple things you can teach me about. I couldn't pass this certification exam to become an actual health teacher. Doesn't matter! I took took it so many times, but no luck. So I came here, and I'm stuck forever as the, as the, in the nurse's office. So, uh... I guess this isn't a very fun thing to talk about. You're just a good listener. I find myself telling you all kinds of stuff. I hope you still come to see me if I talk your ear off like this. Welcome to the rest of the stream. We're not actually gonna go beat Cassiopeia. This is this is Cassiopeia, as far as I'm concerned. Never mind. We're done talking to her. The students call Nurse Miriam Mimi. I used to, I tried using that nickname uh, with her once, but she just glared at me. Oh, well, I could probably call you Mimi anytime, right? Flappy looks so cute when it's sleeping. Look at its face. So sleepy and cute. Oh, I was just, I'm... <laughs> I can't have a rest here. Well... Can I? Oh, I can lie down and have a rest. <laughs> you and Blowy Joey <laughs> and the rest of your party feel full of energy again. Alright, well... This was a nice detour. I didn't know who this character was, but I've seen some art, and I just had to know. Is there anyone else I need to be familiar with? Uh, not that I see, so, uh... Schoolyard it is! No, it's Penny. It's Penny. I didn't want it to be Penny. It's Penny. Thanks for coming. Oh my goodness, it's Penny's twin sir's twin brother Lenny. Oh. This must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make uh, quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside the school that time. The idea of Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get a hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. 
After the operation started, I kept you- I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle the boss on my bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of de uh, defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I just can't roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? I suppose. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry to keep you. Uh, the letter of apology missed time had me, uh... I mean, preparations look took longer than expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny. So it is you after... Uh, I mean, no. Is that you, Cassiopeia? <laughs> In the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send a video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, will do. Now allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No. Penny! Now, bow down before your over the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder! Penny of Team Star. Umbreon is her entire team Evolutions. I won't hold back in this battle. Stay true to Team Star's code. Umbreon's defense fell. Bank Pulse. Analyzing me. It's countering the defense drop. Song is a banger, though. Can confirm. Uh, I don't think Flip Turn's gonna kill, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna hope it kills. God damn it. Not what I wanted to have happen, I wanted to switch switch him in, switch him out next time. Uh Swinstein. For some reason, like all the, the music in this game is a lot more quiet to me than I feel like it should be. So I'm gonna ha I'm still gonna have to listen to this later. Her team literally is all evolutions, isn't it? Flareon. Jolteon. <laughs> Here's where we flip turn. Oh, you missed Thunder because you're a bad trainer? I don't even need to. this thing. <laughs> Vaporeon. I 
I did want to originally try and play this game under set battle rules by myself and just deny switching in a Pokemon so that way I could play it on technical set because they removed it in the game. I, I've played the game long enough that I stopped caring about that. Leafeon. I did see a screenshot a long time ago of Penny with a Sylveon, so I'm going to assume her last Pokémon is Sylveon. Oh wow, we didn't actually kill you in one hit, that's crazy. <laughs> Baby doll eyes really coming in and just negating my attack. Yep, Sylveon. Rip Espeon. I just never get to see Espeon. I mean, it's cool that there's a trainer in a Pokemon game whose entire team is evolutions. Can't fault your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses fell at your hands. Gigaton Hammer! Time to terrestrialize, shine bright like the starry sky, and become who you really want to be! If you're just gonna be Terra Fairy. Got it. Like Glaceon and Espeon, then. If you're gonna terrestrialize Fairy, I'm just gonna hit you with a hammer. Well, you baby doll eyes me, so let's fight, not kill. Nope, it didn't. Well, you know what time it is. She just keeps using baby doll eyes and not actually attacking, like, ever. Chloroblast! And down she goes. all over now. Well. It's finally over. You got it. Guys, it's done. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up, are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking! We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Well, yeah, well, that's what happens when you uh, round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them, uh, show, make a show of learning some manners. We didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't even do anything wrong. Indeed, uh, merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrani uh, tyrannous opposition. It was a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even set out their Pokemon, they just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about, uh, about what went down, and they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stunt might have might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. I'll take responsibility for everything. Noble and oh, noble and kind big boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? What about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? 
All I can say is you got to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB! Why are you talking like we will never speak again? I need to take care of some things. Prithee, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us! Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, Chandler. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is... It is uh, I guess this is it for Team Star. And me, too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check... what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? <laughs> I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them to... Uh, ask them all to do stuff, but we could never order them. Ah. Uh. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them. Even lead the team? Yes. And according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made by made to them. Thus, the idea for Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, allow me to ask you one last thing. What does Team Star... No. What do your friends and the team mean to you? There. Say the line. They're my greatest treasure. There it is! Splendid. Thank you for app appeasing me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should- I would very much like to discuss with you. <laughs> Quit the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well, well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal my true secret identity. D uh, Director Clavel! And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you and you meddling kids. Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But Why? I needed a way to, uh, to talk to Team Stark on equal terms. Students tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers after all, much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, b but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. <clears throat> well, that's quite enough for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Oh, did he, did he get them all to come by anyway? That's adorable. <laughs> Yo, big boss. Long time no see. Momo. Or like, long time no meet, right? I mean, we only just found out your real name just now. <laughs> Melly. Beverly, it is thy hidden ca uh, countenance sight for sore eyes, milady. Atticus. So, uh, I heard your real name's Penny. Have you been this whole time? Ordy. We found you at last. We've no idea how worried we've been. Eri. <laughs> Alright, gang, on the count of three. One, two. House to the V Star, Cassiopeia, and hello, Penny! Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As the director of the Academy, I have let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. 
ever since my first days as, as a director. I've all I've all I've ever experienced at the academy is an environment blissfully free from bullying. But now I know this place was uh, built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course your immense courage for putting things to right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star is to disband, and my threat to expel those who do not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. Woohoo, Penny, isn't that great? We can all stay together! Oh, my heart is giddy with glee. But I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us about all of it. Far as we heard, you only went through it to save us from getting expelled. You were just, uh, just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chuck the team just because someone told us to, after all. Ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have uh, feared us. Here, fe feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so. Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your protracted tyrancy, your uh, brazen uh, customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and je uh, jeopardous driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles, need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply go be overlooked. <laughs> Thus, as punishment, you'll be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes. Specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for... Star Training Centers. There'll be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainer talents. And I plan uh, for the Academy to, f uh, to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Chandler battling his way through your bases. The base's construction as well as the tactics employed by the students in Team Star, remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. Is that a, is that, and that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Uh, no? It sounds like fun, so I don't see how, uh, I don't see how it would be anything but a win-win. <laughs> this may be a weird thing to say, since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true, we would most happily have you at our side, Flitty, uh, my lady. We can go to the school together! That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you! We were already talking about uh, how great it'd be to have both Team Star and our school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys... Chandler, what do you think? I think it sounds great. But, uh, I just... No need to, uh, to give your response right at this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Uh, not... Uh, not to say you should uh, break up Team Star, after all. I simply meant it... I uh, meant it is time to leave. <laughs> Master Chandler, please stop by my office later, if you would. You can fight the bosses with much stronger teams daily now. That sounds like fun, but not today. <laughs> I technically... the Oh god, I see it. Hold on. My ear is itchy, but... <laughs> the great ball in the door. I don't think that's how door stops work. Uh, director's office. When I think back to- There it is again. When I think back to Legends Arceus, I technically- I think the only thing I didn't do was forget to go refight the, uh... The- the, um... The nobles. 
Because I think they're stronger if you fight them a second time, but I forgot. Oops. Not doing another episode of Arceus, though. I've done way too many. Ah, oh, here you are, Master Chandler. I wanted to thank you all for your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have uh, done the team a grievous injustice and my choice as punishment for their actions. You have my sincerest gratitude. Who is it? It's, uh, Penny. Ah, oh, Miss Penny, do come in. Hello, Director. Throughout the SDCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But I sh should I be punished more heavily than the others, I think? Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the others really... Uh, because of the others really bad thing I did. What would that be? You know, the LP I gave uh, you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall. Oh. <laughs> I got a hold of it. Sort of... Illegally, by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Ah, uh, I see. That is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. <laughs> it wasn't uh, all that, uh... I mean, uh, I'm really sorry, and I won't do it again. Hmm. <laughs> this matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, to see how to best proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Master Chandler, but I would uh, have to ask for a bit of privacy. Oops. Now what? Now you're sending me back to the dorm room and do I have to go back? <laughs> oh no, is that it? Is that how it ends? I thought there would be, like, one more cutscene. Go outside. Ugh. Entrance hall. And leave. Wait! No! Wait! Wait, I saw her! I need to go back! Chandler? Penny? There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you meet me in front of the school stairs? You know, where we first met? I'll be waiting. Wait! There's more important matters to discuss as I clip into the building. <laughs> I need to go back. Was she just T-posing? Oh, hey, Chandler. Sorry, were you looking for me? I've been away from the nurse's office lately. Did you see- Uh, did you need something from me? Yes! Yes! Are your Pokemon hurt? Just a sec. That's not what I meant. Here you go. A little first aid. Must have been, uh, been having an adventure out there, judging from those uh, scrapes and guts. Huh? Oh yeah, I guess it's pretty unusual for me to be out of the nurse's office like this. <laughs> well, I'm actually doing a bit of studying. Thought I'd try my best uh, as a health teacher certifi- a health certifi- health teacher certification exam one more time. You can do it. Just so you know, it's totally not because I'm inspired by a certain somebody working hard at their treasure hunt, okay? <laughs> Ugh. Well, maybe I'm just a little bit. So, you know, uh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my break time's almost over. And I'll be cheering- I know you'll be cheering me on, Chandler. I feel trusted by the nurse. Yes! I need to see that one more time, though. What the hell just happened? Was it like her chin was T-posing? What the hell happened? Oh no, she was T-posing. Or it's more like an A-pose. It was her, like, stethoscope. Was T-posing. Oops. 
Video game bad, etc., etc. Well, we'll check up on her later. She's finally- there's finally a person who's made me invested to go to school every single day. <laughs> well... I'm pretty much done with the stream, so we'll check up on her next time. I've been streaming for like five and a half hours. There's the thumbnail. Baby. As to the V-Star. The six of us thought that that catchphrase when we created the team was so cringy. It's perfect, you know? Anyway, about the LP thing. I thought it was going, uh, I thought it was going d uh, down big time for hacking the league point system. But they're letting me off easy. What happened? Pokemon League said, uh, they waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work uh, for them after I graduate. Can you believe that? Director Clavel uh, and that Ida lady kept uh, complimenting me. Like a weird amount. Apparently I have an outstanding talent or something. <laughs> this guy is just walking by. He's like, Ugh, another fucking day at school. Just fuck. Sorry for calling you out, out here to meet like this, since it's not I'm not so great with people face to face. I never uh, seem to find the right words, but uh, thank you so much. You same Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done. So here, 169 Draco Meteor, nice. I'm sure you'll put this to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way, uh, if you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Chandler. <laughs> <clears throat> be seeing you then. Hasta la vista. <laughs> Yay! Starfall Street complete. Uh, I highly doubt there was anyone on my team who could learn Draco Meteor. But I'm just curious. No one can learn Draco Meteor. Oh well. I'll find somebody who could learn that, but... For now, I am done... ...with Pokémon Violet for the time being. We have fully completed... The Team Star storyline, which is what I wanted to do today. It only took an extra hour and a half of stream time to do that, but I wanted to make up for the fact that uh, I didn't stream yesterday, and I took a three-day break for Christmas, and then it's also been nine days in total since I last played the game. So, I'm depending on how many episodes comes out of this, this stream, uh, I will plan my next stream of Violet accordingly, and I'll let you guys know. Uh, but for YouTube purposes, thank you so much for watching Pokemon Violet up to this point. All we have remaining in the game is just this big snowy area north of the crater. Uh, there's a couple Pokemon centers just around, which is kind of weird. I mean, this one obviously, but this one's just kind of a weird spot. Uh, we got two more gyms to do, and then plus whatever comes after that, and then the crater. Uh, I do not know if... The Pokemon League and the two gyms are going to be all one stream, plus the stuff at the Crater. I think what I probably want to do is do all of this plus the Pokemon League as one stream, and then, like, the full conclusion of all three stories at the Crater in one more stream, and then see whatever the else post-game stuff shows up. But we're very much nearing the end. Uh, if you are not following... Or if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so, because I do have a lot to offer, including my full playthrough of Pokemon Violet, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and all the other stuff I have up on my channel. This is all being streamed live at twitch.tv slash Pokemon35. Link in the description down below. You do not want to miss this stuff. I do not know if I've already done the stream of the Pokemon League by the time uh, these episodes go out. However, I do not think the stream for the Crater will be happening by the time this episode goes out. Maybe. Uh, so you should go... Uh, follow so you don't miss the stream when that happens 
that is all I have to say. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.